me. I'll start that. Hi guys, I'm Raj from First Class Cricket Academy. Um, today we are going to do something new. I get a lot of questions from parents and players about different aspects of the game and about First Class Cricket Academy. So what we have decided is every week I'm going to take one question and talk about it here. So today, the first thing we are going to talk about is, I get asked this, what is the coaching process, what is the structure of coaching at First Class Cricket Academy, and what it is based on. So we offer one-to-ones, we offer groups, we offer mini groups, um, and we offer holiday camps as well. However, everything is based on the current abilities of the player, and the evidence that we have gathered from the top players in the world. So if we talk about the top batters and bowlers in the world, how we go about categorizing them is, we are talking about um, batsmen who have scored more than 10,000 runs in test cricket or who average more than 50 in test cricket and bowlers who have got more than 300 wickets in test cricket. So that's the benchmark and now we go about and see what those people have done so all those guys who have scored 10,000 plus or scored more than 50 average in test cricket don't bat the same way but they have got a few things common so what are the common denominators all of them have got a really good defense their decision making length picking is spot on they have one differentiator it could be anything someone's could be massive concentration levels someone's could be they play spin bowling exceptionally well someone could be they play pace bowling really well someone could be anytime there's a tough situation they can create opportunities create boundaries for themselves someone could be getting singles of the good balls really easily but they will have one differentiating factor on top of that every one of those guys they play situations they don't come back and say this is the way i play they adapt to situations whether it's sydney edgebaston eden gardens or uh, candy they will adapt to the situations they get and score runs there now to get there obviously we need a good defense so that's the first thing we go for at first class making sure that the person or the player can play front foot defense and back foot defense properly because any shot you play in the book is an extension of those two shots once they can do that we go about and help them with their length picking so can they come forward to the full ball can they go back to the back ball after that we will take them to the nets once they are able to execute their decision making in the nets then the next stage would be how good are they against the short ball at the armpit and how good are they against spinners when there's men around the bat and there's a bit of turn involved. Once they can go through that hurdle, the next would be different scenarios and how do they execute their plans in different scenarios. This is how we go about with the batsmen. As far as the bowlers, it's even more simpler. The first thing we need to make sure is the bowler has got a repeatable action by which he or she can bowl the ball in the same area making sure that they get the next over if someone can do that and sell set a field accordingly they are guaranteed that they will get their full quota in a game if i'm playing a 50 over game and i bowl 10 overs that means i've got 60 chances of getting a wicket okay on a good day i'll end up with the batsman making three mistakes or four mistakes on a bad day i'll end up with one or two mistakes from the batsman but I'm still in the game. So the, that's the first thing we'll make sure that our bowlers are able to do. Only after that we, will we go and teach them variations, creating angles on, on the crease and other parts of bowling. So from the batting part, the basic stuff, from the bowling part, the basic stuff. That's what we mainly emphasize and then build on that because as a cricket coaching academy our job is to make the player better we are not there as a crash service we are not there to entertain people we are there to make the player better so if you are 
one of them who wants to get better, who wants to stay in the game longer because you'll enjoy the game more because you're more competent with the game. Find us, you know where we are. Until then, it's goodbye and see you next week.